The Apache Indians, the white settlers who came west in the early days, were like an invading army, seeking to take from them the lands they loved and had long considered their own. Bravest and most savage warriors of the West, the Apaches fought long and bitterly to stem the tide of civilization. And the Indian Wars in the Southwest make up one of the bloodiest chapters in America's frontier history. But at last, in 1873, peace was restored, and the Apaches were moved down to the reservation. With few exceptions, the Indians kept their pledge of peace, and once again the wagons rolled westward without fear of attack. But as thousands of new settlers poured into the Southwest, everyone knew that one single clash between whites and Indians could well be the spark that would set off another long and bloody war. Our duty, and that of every peace-loving man, was to see to it that such a clash did not occur. But memories of the Indian wars were still bitter. Hatred still lived in many hearts, and the danger of a clash was ever present. Look. That Arroyo lead into Apache country, Kimasabe. The white men follow Indians, then be killed. We've got to stop them, Tom. Come on. Just a minute. Now, just who might you be, mister, hiding behind that mask giving orders? I'm not giving you orders. I'm just warning you. That's Apache country. If you go any further, you're bound to be killed. Them two Apache varmints stole two of my best horses. Ain't no thieving redskin gonna steal horses from Lou Pearson and get away with it. Now get out of my way, mister. Hold it, Pearson. All it would take to start a new war between the whites and the Apaches is an incident like this. You're going to stay right here. And let them buzzards get away with my horses? Not on your life, mister. I think I can get your horses back for you. Chief Gray Horse is a friend of ours. We'll ride in and see him. I'm sure he'll listen to reason. Reason with a redskin? The only way you can reason with one of them varmints is when you got a rope around his neck. In my book, mister, the only good engine is a dead one. If you want your horses back, you'll stay here. I don't cotton to letting strangers tell me what I can and what I can't do, Mr. Pearson. And I don't cotton to letting redskins get away with horse stealing. Me neither. Well, let him get the horses back if he can. We'll take care of the engines later. I build a fire and make some coffee. We want everything real peaceful when he comes back. Stranger, I gotta hand it to you. Chief Greyhorse came along to make sure you got your horses back. Son Red Cloud is a soldier at Fort Apache. He's very proud of him and wishes to keep peace. He's sorry that his braves stole your horses. Well, now, ain't that real nice? You tell the old chief I'm much obliged and that there's no hard feelings. Yes, sir, no hard feelings at all. Fine, I'll tell him. The white man thanks the chief for returning his horses. Tano and I also thank Chief Greyhorse. As long as white men and Indians can talk things over, peace will not be broken. Me no white man with mess, good friend of Indian. Me wish all white man friend of Indian. Push day. Don't try it, mister. Get off that horse, Indian. Now drop your guns, both of you. Line up, men. Now you two back away. Like I said, mister, in my book, the only good Indian is a dead Indian. I'm not dead, Kimisabi. He's badly wounded. 
He may have a chance. We'd better take him to the doctor at Fort Apache. Uh -huh. That man's to watch, Kim and Sebi. You'd better get his horse. Dispatch, sir. Thank you. Well, Corporal Red Cloud. This dispatch is from Washington. I suspect it concerns you. Just as I thought. In response to your recommendation, a special citation for conspicuous bravery in action, together with a promotion to the rank of sergeant, is being made to Corporal Red Cloud, 41st U.S. Cavalry, Fort Apache. Finally came through, Sergeant. Well, thank you, sir. Never thought that someday I'd be handing a special citation for bravery to that little Indian boy who used to hang around the fort and plague us to let him join the cavalry. You were 12 then, weren't you? 10, sir. Proudest day of my life is when I get old enough to join U.S. Cavalry. My father very proud, too. Him say I chief of white men. Yes, Red Cloud. Gray Horse should be very proud now. Take care of this man, will you? You know, son, sometimes the gulf between your people and mine seems very wide and deep. But at other times, it seems to narrow. Let's hope it's always as narrow as it is right now. Congratulations, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. Father. My father. Ranger, what's happened here? The Chief Greyhorse. He's been shot. Greyhorse, it's me, Red Cloud. Tell me, who do this? White man with mask. Lead Greyhorse. Ambush. Him friend. Shoot. It's not true, Red Cloud. You killed my father. Red Cloud, your father made a mistake. He must have not kill. White man died. Hold it, Red Cloud. I know this man. You don't. He's not a killer. My father say white man kill. I believe my father. Confine him to barracks till he cools off. Gray Horse was killed by Lou Pearson. Do you know him? Know him? He's one of the worst troublemakers in the territory. White men die! Bring him back. No, Ranger. You're a civilian. Let the men bring him back. Red Cloud, son of Apache Chief Kimisabi. Apache law says son of Chief must avenge father. Embound by law. You're right, Tom. Good evening, Major. Any news about Red Cloud? My man lost him. He's over in Apache country by now. Him chief now, Kimisabe. Him can turn the whole Apache nation against white man. Major Lou Pearson has to be brought to justice. We have to prove to Red Cloud that the white man's law applies to the white man as well as the Indian. We only could, Ranger. Why can't we? Because Pearson's a civilian, that's why. And the Army has no jurisdiction over civilians. Why you not send for U.S. Marshal? I already have, but he's a hundred miles from here. Meanwhile, Pearson's holed up at his ranch laughing at us. Laughing at the U.S. government and everything it stands for. Just where is the Pearson Ranch? Box Canyon, five miles north of here. See here, you aren't thinking of going after him alone, are you? Sir, we can't wait for U.S. Marshal. That gang of Pearson's is just as vicious as he is. You haven't a chance. We haven't a choice, Major. Donna will make camp, then hit the Pearson Ranch in the morning. We may be able to take them by surprise. Goodbye, Major. I'll not have you throw your lives away. 
You stay here till the marshal arrives. That's an order. You forget, Major. Army have no say over civilians. We civilians. Good night, Major. We better get started. The Pearson Ranch is just over the next ridge. Your guns are here, white men. Get up. You sleep sound. I could have killed you while you sleep. But I have special death for men who murdered my father. You're making a mistake, Red Cloud. Lou Pearson killed your father. Not I. Him tell too, Fred Cloud. Him my friend. Your friend? Is white man never friend of Indian? Him been friend for many years. No man could have better. I give you my word. Lou Pearson will be arrested and punished for his crimes. You must trust me. Trust you, white man? Like my father trusts you? No. Never again will I listen to lies of white man. A red Cloud. You Indian like me. We talk alone? I listen to my red brother. trust you much, white man. He trusts you with his life. Be all right, Kim Shami. We know you will not fail. He says if I let you go, you capture killer of my father. I will do my best. Saddle your horse. Come on, Tano. No, Kim Shami. Me not go. Me stay here till you bring Pearson. If you bring back killer, your friend live. If not, he die. He say he can trust you. We shall see. Go now, Kim Shami. And leave you here as hostage. I make no bargain with my friend's life. Kimasabe, if killer of Grey Horse not brought to justice soon, Red Cloud make war on white people. Many people die. Your people, my people. Go now. Let me ask his friend. Look, white man, shadow of spear. Now it is long, for day is young. When sun high, shadow go. When shadow go, you return, or your friend will die. Him give you till noon, Kimisari. No time to lose. I'll need my guns. Here, take them. They're empty. You can load them at you right away. But no tricks or your friend will die. I made a promise, Red Cloud. Watch the shadow, my red brother. It will get shorter and shorter as the sun comes up. And so will you trust in your white friend. Him not come back, me still trust him. I'll be back, Tuttle. Inside, big fellow. Now's our chance. Blacksmith shop and tie him up.
Shadow grow short. Where your white friend now? Him come. You see. Him come. Not a sign of him yet. Why, why in the name of all that's good and proper did I let him go? Probably both dead by this time. Two of the finest men I've ever known. Blasted red tape. Can't even arrest a man I know as a murderer. Wait a minute. All I've been thinking about is the danger to the ranger in Tonto. What about Pearson? He's in danger too, isn't he? Might be killed by the Indians any minute. Sergeant, we can't let poor Mr. Pearson be murdered, can we? Of course we can't. It's our solemn duty to ride right out to the Pearson Ranch and put him under the protective custody of the U.S. Army. On the double, Sergeant, before it's too late. Blacksmith shop. Their guns. Do like he says. Outside. Silver! Silver! Come on, boy! Up in the saddle. Time run out. Where white man now? Him come. Him my friend. Friend? He run. Save his own life. Leave you here to die. Still you call him friend? Still friend. Fool. Long time I too try to be friends with white man. Live like white man. Be like white man. But white man betray me just as he betray you. And because I listened to you, I let him escape. For that you die. Tao! Kimasabi. Here he is, Red Cloud. The man who killed your father. We'll turn him over to the Major of the Fort. Well, got the rest of them in the guardhouse, Ranger. This one makes my collection complete. You can't arrest me. I'm a civilian. I'm not arresting you, Pearson. I'm merely placing you under protective custody. 
in the guardhouse so that nothing can possibly happen to you until the marshal arrives. By the way, Major, Red Cloud sent you this. Broken arrow, symbol of peace. Well, this is wonderful news, Ranger. Tato and I'll be back for Pearson's trial. Goodbye, Major. Wait. Come back here and be properly thanked. That's an order. Civilians, Major. Adios. <laughs> Civilians. Since when has the Army started cottoning up to outlaws? Outlaws? No, I, I wouldn't call them that. I'd call them fighters for justice, or good Samaritans to those in need of help, or maybe I'd just call them two great friends. And I hope the day will come when all men of all races can be as good friends as Tonto and the Lone Ranger. I am Silver! Away!